Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamran Anchev. I said it last night and I'll say it again. Many times the Red Wolves have pitched well. They've hit well at times, but it just seems like they can't do both at the same time. And today was yet another example of that. Here's a good look at ML Teague Moorefield as A-State and ULL played in today's rubber game. David Owen had a solid outing, allowing three runs in seven innings, striking out nine, but this third inning, Evan Powell, solo home run was his only big mistake. ULL's pitcher Evan Guillory was great. Here he freezes Eric Wilcoxon for the strikeout to end the top of the fourth. He did give up seven hits though and in the fifth. The bases were full of Red Wolves with just one out, but when it's not going your way, it's not going your way. A Zach George line drive, but it's right at the first baseman and he tags the runner out for the double play. That guy had a lot to be happy about today. Bottom fifth now, ULL adds some insurance with this two-run double down the left field line. A-State loses 3-0. The Red Wolves fall to 11-14 and 3-8 and and in Sunbelt play. And it was a great weekend for the Razorbacks baseball team as they got back on track, taking two out of three against Ole Miss for their first SEC series win. The Hawks had a dominant 10-3 win on Thursday in which they pounded out 15 hits. Friday, they lost a tight 5-4 game and found themselves down 2-0 in the fifth on Saturday before a three-run bottom of the fifth sparked a 5-2 comeback win. And all the Razorbacks went 3-2 for the week, improving to 14-13 on the season, as Dave Van Horn was certainly happy with his team. It ended up being a good week. You know, we played five games. We lost two one-run games. Uh, we pitched so much better this week. We played pretty good defense uh, all week. And, uh, you know, we get a day off tomorrow, maybe maybe Monday, maybe a light workout, and we play Tuesday, and then we hit the road. So hopefully we can keep finding ways to win. The Grizzlies have had a great season. If they win six of the last nine games, they will tie the franchise record of 56 wins. But as great as the season has been, that's also how bad this week has been. On Wednesday, Memphis lost 111-89 against Cleveland. The Cavs trio of LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love each had at least 20 points, combining for 66 points in all. At the time, the 22-point loss was the largest home loss of the season. But things got even worse on Friday as the Grizzlies lost by 23 to the Warriors as Stephen Curry poured in 38 points, making 8 of 12 threes as the Warriors won 107-84. Tonight, it's another tough test as the Grizzlies have a road game against the defending champs, the Spurs. The last time the Grizz were in San Antonio, Marc Gasol hit a crazy three to send the game into OT. Here it is right there. Memphis went on to win in triple overtime, 117-116. Tip-off for tonight's game is set for 6 p.m. On the college hoops, as exciting as the lead eight is, it's also sad knowing that the college hoop season is winding down. Kentucky and Wisconsin both booked their trips to Indianapolis last night. Today, two more teams look to join them in the Final Four. Michigan State and Louisville played yet another March Madness Classic. Louisville made one of two late free throws, and Michigan State missed a half-court shot at the buzzer as the game went to overtime. It was all Spartans in the OT as MSU wins 76-70 to advance to the Final Four, and the Spartans will play the winner of the Duke and Zaga game. Duke was up five at the half, but the Zags are heating up. This one's tied at 31 early in the second half at last check, and uh, CBS is going to be off the air soon, so we'll be able to show you those highlights tonight at 10. Grizzlies highlights, so much good basketball to look forward to. I bet a lot of people are just keeping their eyes on their brackets. Yeah, I need games. Duke to win in mine. <laughs> Thank you, Common. Stay with us.